Hello and welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're going to be doing a short diastasis recti friendly yoga sequence. I'm in Hawaii right now with my family and so we're going to do it on the beach. So I hope you enjoy the waves and the scenery as well. And if you want the complete guide to heal your diastasis recti, you can go down to the description box and grab that freebie. As well as always check with your doctor and listen to your own body and make sure that you're safe for your own body. All right, we'll get started. Let's start by bringing our hands to heart center. We can close our eyes for a second and bring ourselves to our practice. And when you're ready, we're gonna take our arms up with an inhale and exhale back to heart center. Inhale and exhale, heart center. And one more time, warming up looking up at the thumbs and back to heart center folding all the way forward and letting yourself hang at the bottom you can cross your elbows shake your head no and rolling up one vertebra at a time and taking your arms out to the side looking up at your thumbs and back to heart center folding forward and crossing your elbows shaking your head relaxing and rolling up inhale looking up exhale bringing your hands all the way through length and spine folding forward and planting your hands on the ground and coming to a tabletop position. And from here we'll do some hip circles. So whatever movement feels good, you can start with smaller hip circles and get bigger and moving the other way. Tuck your toes and move into your first downward dog, moving however feels good. You can walk out your dog. And when you're ready, taking tiny steps forward, activating our core to protect it and coming into a forward fold. Then rolling up one vertebra at a time. Deep inhale, looking up at your thumbs and coming back, folding forward, dropping your head at the bottom and moving into a tabletop position. Moving into dog bird, lengthen your fingertips away from your toes, exhale, contract, inhale, lengthen, exhale, belly to spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, contract. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, contract. Inhale, lengthen. Contract. And switching sides. Inhale and exhale. Inhale in, lengthen. Exhale, contract. Inhale, Exhale, inhale in and exhale, belly to spine. Coming back to tabletop and pressing into downward dog. Draw your lower belly in and engage your core and then take your left leg and reach it up and contract in and bring it up. Move with your breath. Knee in and lift it up. And one more time. Up and bring it down to switch sides. Contracting our core and leg up and bringing your knee in. Moving with your breath.
Once again, engage in your core and taking tiny steps towards your hands and folding forward. Then when you're ready, rolling all the way up and inhale, arms out to the side, above head, looking up at your thumbs and back to heart center, all the way forward with the length and spine and stepping back into tabletop, we'll move into fire hydrant. So engaging your core and lifting your knee out to the side, working these muscles. And we'll do a few more here. And moving to the other side, engaging your core, working your glutes. And great job. Pressing back into downward dog and taking your toes and splitting them on the back heel of your other leg to get a stretch through the back of the leg, switching sides. And engaging your core, tiny steps all the way forward into a forward fold and rolling up, coming to a standing position. Here we will step apart and moving into Trikonasana or triangle, reach your forward arm forward and let it fall in front of your leg, reaching up with the other arm, looking up at your hand if that's comfortable for you and remember to breathe. And coming up and moving into warrior two soft gaze out over your front middle finger and taking the side stretch into reverse warrior and coming back to a centered position switching around for triangle on the other side reaching your arm forward and reaching up with your top hand and breathe inhale coming up and bending your front leg into warrior two and inhale coming out of the pose. Next we're going to move into chair pose so we can take a deep bend in our knees and inhale looking up sitting back as if we were going to sit back in a chair soft gaze up between our hands Engaging our core, belly button to spine, inhale up and back to heart center and deep bend in the knees and looking up, getting a little bit lower, weights in our heels and inhale coming out of the pose, we'll do that one more time and inhale, deep bend, sitting back. And inhale, coming up. Next, we're gonna move into tree pose. And you can find a centered position and shift your weight into one foot. And you can place your foot anywhere on your leg other than your knee and bringing your hands to heart center and up above if that's comfortable for you. Remember to breathe. Bringing your hands back down to heart center 
and centering yourself and switching sides. Hands to heart center and up. Looking at something steady to find your balance. And moving out of the position. Next we're going to move into eagle position. I'm going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing here. And slight bend in the knee and I'm going to take my right arm over top of my left and then take my right leg and around my left and sinking a little bit lower, lifting your elbows up a little bit. Remember to breathe. And when you're ready, unwinding your arms and unwrapping your leg, coming back to center. And we'll do that on the other side. Left hand over right, crossing elbows, bringing your thumbs or your palms together, and bringing your left leg and wrapping it around your right. And sinking a little bit lower, lifting your elbows up and taking some deep breaths and when you're ready unwinding your arms unwrapping the leg and coming back to a centered position inhale bringing your arms up looking up at your thumbs and exhale down inhale up exhale down and one last time big inhale and Exhale, bringing your hands to heart center, folding all the way forward. And planting your hands and stepping back one more time into tabletop and moving forward into child's pose. When you're ready, you can walk your hands back and we'll find a safe way to get down onto our back. So twisting onto our side and safely coming onto our back. And tucking your knees into your chest. You can give yourself a little bit of a rock. And from here, we'll move into reclining twist. If this is too much, you can always keep your knees together and drop them both to the side to protect your core. And take your knees back to center and dropping both or one knee over to the other side. Keeping that back shoulder on the ground. It's not important that your knee gets all the way to the ground. And bring your knees up and planting your feet on the ground and we're going to move into bridge position. You can clasp your hands underneath, roll your shoulders if that feels good. And take a couple of breaths here. Coming out of the position. And we will move into Shavasana. Lengthening your legs and your arms. Closing your eyes. Letting your body feel heavy scanning your whole body and relaxing each body part. Letting go of controlling your breath, just watching your breath. And wiggling your fingers and your toes, taking some deeper breaths into your lungs, stretching your arms up over your head, and roll over onto your side, and come back up to a seated position, it's comfortable.
Namaste. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. We'll see you next time.